was actually going to be uh, a lot of cars come, a lot of PIs, police interceptors come with uh, the aux line disabled. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description. So after we finish programming or this uh, enabling this uh, aux feature, what we're going to do is I'm, this cable is on Amazon for $42. Uh, it's a literally you take out the trim piece in the front the black trim piece with the keyhole you're going to plug in that wire right in you're going to wire you're just going to direct the wire run it right through the top panel and you're going to have an aux line where you can plug in your phone listen to music talk on the phone and, and yada 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 you have everything you could use make it into a private car that's a simple thing simple way to put it so in this video i'm actually going to show where you get the binary code or the as-built format you can put for these vehicles and leaving links down below for everything. Thank you so much and let's get into this video. I'm going to leave the link down below to this article I found uh, about unlocking features on a 2013 plus Ford Police Interceptor Sedan Taurus. It do as I said before, it doesn't also just put the Explorer, the Utility Police on the side. This uh, setting you can also use the Explorer. So this uh whoever wrote brian i i would guess he uh put this um article out and he's also using uh four scan with a windows laptop so when i use this four scan i found actually how to use the keyless entry which we also which i was saying we put the bcm the codes the binary codes into the uh the uh the uh as built format so this is for the BCM, the IPC that we've done last time, and this is for the Keepa. But so a lot of times people are like, oh, we want to enable aux, but we it, the button is like frozen. It doesn't want to do anything. So it's disabled. And uh, the connector that I that I, I found off of this article actually was uh, first you convert the binary format. So you go to seven. Uh, so you're going to go to FCDIM 7A5. Uh, so let's go back to our Forescan, where it's uh, FCDIM, as built. We're going to press play. Uh, not potentially safe. Okay. 7A5. And let's go go back and see which one. 7A5, 0101. Since I've done this one before, uh, it's already done. 20DF and this. Done right there, as you can see. Uh, and there. Uh, bit 16 disables aux, so set to zero to enable. So I set it to zero, okay, and I can't write anything since uh, we're, I'm just gonna force write, okay. Uh, there you go, it's gonna go with diagnostics off, it's gonna play, you're gonna cycle the ignition off, then back to on. I'm going to go to aux and it's going to say auxiliary audio active, which is a new screen for many of us. All oh, what I was saying uh, in the beginning was that what, what you're going to do, the plug is right down here. You're going to plug it and you're just going to run the wire right up here to the factory. You can buy one of these panels that has the aux or I've seen other guys just drill the hole. So you're just going to put it right here, plug in your phone, play. And there you go, folks. The police interceptor utility or sedan is equipped with aux now, and I can use it to plug my phone in. Uh, so um, I'm doing a series of videos for all these vehicles. So stay, just follow the page, follow the videos. Each video is going to uh, put more and more detail into what we can do with Forescan, how we can use it, and what we can use it for. So really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next video.